Welcome, my name is Tania Leon, Artistic Director of Composers Now. The 2021 festival is comprised of events presented by many organizations, ensembles, and composers themselves. We marvel at the adaptations and innovations we all are making in the midst of these unprecedented times. In fact, all the events in this year's festival are virtual. All the composers in this event introduced their works prior to their performances. You can visit composersnow.org for more information. And many, many thanks to our funders that are listed there. We extend our congratulations to Paloma Alonso, recipient of the first commission award. Composer Angelica de Gron served as the young composer's mentor. During this concert, you will hear the world premiere of Paloma's work entitled 2020. At this time, I would like to pay tribute to Joan Tower, one of our nation's preeminent composers. Joan Tower is a Grammy-winning contemporary American composer, concert pianist, and conductor. Lauded by the New Yorker as one of the most successful women composers of all time, her bold and energetic compositions have been performed in concert halls around the world. After gaining recognition for her first orchestral composition, Sequoia, a tone poem which structurally depicts a giant tree from trunk to needles, she has gone on to compose a variety of instrumental works, including Fanfare for the Uncommon Woman, which is something of a response to Aaron Copland's Fanfare for the Common Man, The Island Prelude, Five String Quartets, and an assortment of other tone poems. Tower was pianist and founding member of the number award-winning Da Capo Chamber Players which commissioned and premiered many of her early works, including her widely performed Petrushkates. Thank you for joining us for this event, and let's welcome Joan Tower, recipient of the 2021 Composers Now Visionary Award. Hi everybody, I'm Joan Tower and I got this fantastic award in the mail a couple of days ago uh, which I am supposed to show to you which isn't easy because it's glass. Uh, it's a beautiful award made by Tiffany's. I hope you can see that. Anyways, I want to thank composers now for this elegant and wonderful award. I, in, when I was in my 20s, um, I didn't get any awards. It was mostly my male colleagues who got it, and they got commissions and all kinds of things. And I didn't know at the time, this was a long time ago, I'm 82 years old, uh, and <laughs> uh, I, at the time, I didn't think anything of it. I was busy writing my solo pieces and struggling through getting a degree at Columbia because I was told that if I didn't get a degree, I couldn't get a job. Uh, so I didn't think anything about it at all. I thought it was fine, actually. Um, I wasn't bitter or angry or anything. But as time wore on and I got more educated about the whole gender problem with music, I started to think that wasn't so okay, actually. <laughs> And uh, I think learning the history is, is important to put a perspective on where you're at in, in the history of things. Um, and then when I started getting awards later on, I was like, really, you know, very, very uh, surprised and encouraged that people would even give me an award. But at this age, 82, I it's an important kind of award to get because you want to, you need encouragement as we all do at all ages and at all 
stations of where we're at. Uh, so nourishment is a, I think an important issue for composers of all ages and we get it from various places. We get it from our partners, from our family, from our students maybe, uh, and from the players that we work with, the singers we work with, which I feel that's the important area where I got most of my nourishment from. Um, without those players, I, I'm, I don't think I would have survived this well and this long. <laughs> so, um, I think I want to say good luck to you all and, and just remember that nourishment comes in very different packages as some of you already know and it's important to look at what they, those are to recognize them as, as being personally uh, important to you rather than the outside packages. Okay, so good luck to you all, and thank you, Composers Now, for giving me this very nice award. Thank you. for The Uncommon Woman by Joan Tower, dedicated to tonight's conductor, Aaron Olsoff. Hello, my name is Paloma Alonso, I'm 13 years old, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to the Composers Now 2021 festival opening this evening. I'm truly honored to be the recipient of the Composers Now 
2021 First Commission Award. I'm very grateful to the people who guided me through this process. I would like to thank Mrs. Tanya Leon, the founder of Composers Now, and composer Angelica Negron for assisting me in the compositional process. Lastly, I would like to thank the wonderful musicians who worked and performed my piece beautifully. As you all know, 2020 had been a hard and trying year for all of us. The months where we were in lockdown seemed long and isolating, and the events that followed in the next months were also very traumatizing. We were living and writing history every day, but one thing helped us get us through it all, and that was hope. Hope that each day was a day closer to normalcy as we knew it before. Hope that we would make up for the lives that were lost, whether it was black people dying in the hands of police or people around the globe dying each day due to the coronavirus. I think by now you all know what the theme of my piece is. 2020, which is the title of the piece, evokes not only the sad and traumatizing events in the past year, but also those moments that were hopeful and got people through it. The message I wanted to convey in this piece is what makes us get through trauma and sadness is resilience and hope for a better future. So without further ado, please enjoy my piece 2020 and let's hope for a more peaceful 2021. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Hi everyone, my name is Inti Fikasuswata and I'm a composer living in New York. So many thanks to Composers Now for featuring me on their opening festival concert. The piece that you'll hear tonight, Form the Fabric, was originally written for Crash Ensemble for premiere at New Music Dublin in March of 2020. It was actually the last piece that I had performed before everything went virtual. The performance that you hear tonight will be from Ninth Planet New Music, who ended up putting the piece together uh, for Zoom virtually. Um, in a really amazing, uh, well, amazing kind of way. 
Um, we worked closely uh, through a few rehearsals um, and were able to really kind of capture the spirit of the piece even in a uh, virtual setting. Uh, so please enjoy and thank you again.
I am Alba Putis and I was born in Cali, Colombia. I moved to the United States in 1983. Tres piezas breves that you are about to listen to were written intermittently throughout my years as a student of my three degrees at Temple University. During those years, Charles Abramovic inspired many compositions for the piano as a soloist or as a member of the faculty trio. I feel very attached to these pieces as well as to the other music that I wrote for him. And actually, I never had the need to revise them or change anything. They are the way that they were written. Uh, the pieces, um, in the pieces there are traces, traces of intentions inspired by the musica, musica de Salon and the traditional music of the Colombian Andes. I used to play that music as a teenager for many years. The first piece, Cantabile, was written in 1990 and it was the first piece that I wrote as a, as a composition student at Temple. The dances of Luis A. Calvo, a composer from that area, are kind of, they float around this piece. The, the rhythm of the dance, that are, of, of the dancer is not completely there, but his spirit, the, the kind of quality of his music, I think it can be detected in this movement. The second movement, Calmato and Agitato, has more drastic contrast. And in the middle of one of the sessions, uh, is hidden a melody, a little line from a, a Colombian guavina in the syncopation of that rhythm that I really like a lot. In the third movement, that is Energico, Oh, by the way, the, the, the Agitato was the, the last piece for piano that I wrote as a student at Temple in 1997, just in the same year that I graduated from there. The third movement was written in 1993, Energico, and the first impetu of the co Colombian Bambuco Fiestero, it can be sensed sense that in the strong activity, the accumulation of notes and intensity until the end of the piece is, is just a very, it has the, the passion of that music, yeah. And I just feel that these three pieces represent what is wonderful in the confluence of different cultures is what we bring and what we receive in the new place that we live, in this case, the United States. This concert that you are going to listen to was done in Temple University, but it was the repetition of the concert that Charles Abramovic played in New York as a part of my concert series, Las Americas in Concierto. I just wanted to say gracias to my heritage and my Colombian roots. Gracias to the enrichment that the United States has given to me. Gracias to the faculty of my alma mater. And thanks for the exquisite playing of these wonderful pianists. Thank you to the composer now for the inclusion of this piece in the program.
Hi everyone, this is Anthony Chung, composer of uh, Character Studies, which you're about to hear. And uh, I'm very thankful to Tanya Leon and Composers Now for featuring my work tonight and to be in the, the lovely company of uh, my wonderful fellow artists. Uh, the piece you're going to hear, uh, as I mentioned, is called Character Studies, and it's two solo movements for violin, uh, written, uh, both written in 2016. Uh, the first is titled Dramatis Personae, and it was written for Jennifer Coe uh, for her Shared Madness project. Um, basically, in this piece, you'll hear a revolving door of constantly changing personalities. Uh, each one is kind, of like is kind of maximally contrasted with the last. And I was thinking, uh, in this particular case of um, the Sichuan opera, tradition of, of changing masks of Bian Lian, um, which is this uh, incredible, almost magical technique of um, changing masks so quickly that it's almost imperceptible. Um, so the violin is taking on these multiple roles, personas, uh, one line at a time. Uh, the second piece is um, it has no subtitle, and it was written for Yuki Numata Resnik, um, and it's more lyrical throughout. It's almost improvisatory. Um, towards the second half of the piece, uh, these broken figurations are introduced, and uh, towards the end, those figurations become flurries of harmonics. Um, I should mention that in both pieces, the lower two strings of the violin are detuned by a half step, so that leads to a kind of darker overall sound, um, some more unusual harmonic combinations, and also um, combinations of harmonics uh, as well. Uh, this is a performance that was recorded by Miranda Cookson in her home a few months ago. Um, it was originally uh, recorded for New Music Miami, and I'm really grateful for her, for her brilliant performance here, um, as well as allowing me to share it with you tonight. Thank you very much, and enjoy.
Hi, I'm Pamela Z, and the work you're about to hear is one that I call Other Rooms. It was composed in 2018, and I premiered it at the Other Minds Festival in San Francisco. The performance being screened here took place at Roulette in New York as part of the Resonant Bodies Festival in September of the same year. Other Rooms is structured around samples I made of the speaking voice of playwright Paul David Young taken from an interview I recorded as part of the process of making my performance work, Memory Trace. At the start of Other Rooms, I introduced the voice samples by triggering them with a gesture-controlled infrared sensor instrument. Throughout the piece, I process my own live voice with digital delays and granular synthesis, and the piece finishes with a flurry of granulated vocal processing manipulated via gestures using my wearable MIM controllers. Other Rooms explores the confluence of memory and imagination and the blurred boundaries between memory construction and recall. You can just pick up right where you left off. It's as if you'd never stopped talking. You can just pick up right where you left off. It's as if you'd never stopped talking. You can just, just pick up right where you left off to see if you can start talking. And, and, uh, and, uh, you can just pick up right where you left off. It's as if you'd never stopped talking.
I can sometimes have a quasi-photographic memory. I memorize license plates. I'll remember phone numbers. What page number if something is on in a book? I discovered that there was a door. It was still in the sort of breezeway that we had in the house. It was in my apartment. I discovered that there was a door. It had obviously always been there. I can see the whole thing. I can see the light and I can see the windows. I discovered that there was a door. It had obviously always been there. And then I go through and I discover that there are all these other rooms. And I can see that the apartment is much larger and more interesting. And Am I actually remembering it or am I constructing it? Oh, my God. 
key is in the same place. Stairs, but the key is in the same place. Okay. Stairs, but the key is in the same place. Alright. Stairs, but the key is in the same place. I always put the key is in the same place. You can just, you just pick up. up. Right, 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 right. 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 The time is now, now's the time. It's great to be here to opening the 2021 Composers Now Festival. What a year we had in 2020 and what we have looking forward to 2021 to being creative and finding new solutions and new ways to share our vision with each other and build a new audience. The time is now, now is the time. It's the title of my piece. A rather simple piece. It's based on a motive of Charlie Parker, one of the great saxophonists and jazz virtuosos from the 1940s, 1950s. So it's that simple motive. And I put it together for a jazz trio well, basically, there's two motives, A and B. Bum, 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 which are taken from Now's the Time Blues that Charlie Parker wrote. The time is now, now's the time, which is appropriate for 2021. So essentially, you're going to hear sort of a minimalist uh, piece, very simple. I've used that motive, though, in my piano concerto. Uh, which is much longer than the short piece for this event. But I find it so simple, of course, intervalically, but how much you can work with. So in this jazz version, you have the two motives, basically A and then B with a drum transition between the two and a set of variations over those two parts. And just using your imagination in the group, in the democratic exchange of improvising musicians. Um, and then basically a coda. So it's a fun piece, something really different, I think, than maybe some of the my other colleagues might play, something you can dance to, feel that you have some optimism, and uh, to continue the struggle and the fight, because art is our weapon, is our cultural weapon to inspire, to bring Courage, you know, cognitive development, emotional intelligence, so much that art and music can do. And the time is now, now is the time for us to be 
really engaged with our community and the culture at large. Great to see everybody. My name is Donnell, Donnell Fox, composer, pianist. Look forward to the festival. Composers Now 2021. Thank you. Here comes the rockers. The time is now. Now's the time. Kush, Kush, look out, John Lockwood.
Lionel Fox Invention Trio. Thank you so much. Thank you.